It is officially time to start packing for Greece, which is exciting, but nerve wracking, terrifying. Packing and me, we just don't get along. Here's the thing, if it was just packing alone, I think I'd be fine. I wouldn't be ecstatic, but I'd be fine. But it's not just packing alone, it's packing, but I need to organize my entire closet first, because right now my entire closet is just over the last, actually I just take this back, I think it's been like this since I graduated from college, honestly, and that was in 2019. It's just filled with like random stuff mixed with the new stuff. But the old stuff is stuff I would never wear today. It's like, you remember being in like high school and college and going to Ross and just buying like the thing that was less than $12, whatever it was, you would just buy it. Like a lot of that's still in my closet. And every time I think that I get rid of stuff, I notice they still have a lot of that. So my closet is just not as neat as it could be. Also, we live in an apartment without like a beautiful custom closet. It's just, it is what it is. Um, so it's just like overwhelming and I cannot pack until this closet is organized. It's been on my to-do list for an excessive amount of time now. And I started it in like small pieces, but not a lot. So today I'm going to go through and get rid of like a ton of stuff. I hope to get rid of a ton of stuff. I've always wanted to go more minimal, but I've been scared. You know, you're just scared to get rid of stuff and then to need it someday. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to overcome the fear and I'm just going to do it. Like, I'm, Or I'm just going to do it scared, really. I'm just going to get a, rid of a bunch of stuff that I really don't need, the duplicates, um, and just do it scared. And if I'm going to have a minimalist closet, I need to start someday. So I'm just going to do it today. I'm tired of the overwhelm. I wear the same staples anyway, so I just don't need all this stuff. Um, half of it, I don't even know what it is because it's unorganized and in a bin or box at the bottom so i don't need it so we're gonna get rid of it all i don't know if we'll get to packing today but i do know we are going to be doing a closet reorganization we have one of those closets that's like in the bathroom so bathroom's right here closet here lighting's very very bad but i brought this in hopefully that helps so this is what we're working with right now these are like winter sweaters that are just completely unorganized honestly it's ridiculous dresses uh, these are for the most part organized like these are newer stuff i probably won't be getting rid of a lot of this stuff jackets and blazers and cardigans blouses are all hung up here these are david shirts and david's jeans all of my jeans and pants a ridiculous amount and i do think i need to get rid of some of those these are like dresses that i don't want to hang because they're stretchy material so i don't want them to sag david sweatshirts and then this area is the problem area sweatpants sweatshirts workout stuff that i've already started organizing okay that's like underwear and bras socks i've already started organizing this stuff so i've started spreading things out into piles these are more like shirts these are all workout stuff now it's a dryer sheet workout pants leisure pants and workout shirts so this is just like the area that i have trouble organizing like i don't know what to do with all the folded stuff now is probably also a good time to mention i don't have a dresser so normally like all of my t-shirts would go into a dresser that's what it did before we moved here but i don't have a dresser here and I don't want to buy one. Dressers are heavy. I don't want to move them. And like, we just don't know how long we're going to be here. Even if it's for another year, I still don't want a dresser. These were supposed to be my solution to not having a dresser and they're just not cutting it either. I just don't find them very sturdy. Like I can't see what's in them. It was a good attempt on my end. These are just like t-shirts, pajamas. This is like actually a nice tank. Don't know why this is thrown in here. I don't know, man. So like some of this I am going to keep. So pajamas, so I have a white one and a black one. I'll keep both for now, but I actually do think I'll end up throwing one away or giving one away at some point. This is where I fall into like a, do I keep it, do I not? As much as I've gotten rid of stuff over the years, I still just don't know. So this is like t-shirt from like my past, <laughs> right? Like what the heck do I do with this? It's comfortable, I like it, but at the same time I have new t-shirts. So I think I'm just gonna keep one. I think I'm just gonna start getting rid of them. So like this t-shirt, I don't need two title boxing t-shirts, so we'll get rid of one, I'll keep one. Actually, I'm gonna get rid of both. I'll keep this green one that is not a title shirt. It's a balanced superfood shot. I got this for free from a brand years ago. This one's very comfortable, so I'll keep this. This like Mason t-shirt, it's like, do I keep, it's my only Mason t-shirt, so this is the college I went to. It's the only one I have, so I feel like keep it, yes, but like I don't really wear it a lot, so kinda no. 
this t-shirt I wear all the time, just bought, and I've already worn it like a hundred trillion times. So I'll keep this for maybe another year, but I can actually see it not lasting much further than that. This is a white t-shirt, and I know it sounds like, okay, like if I'm going minimal, like do I need all these t-shirts? Well, some of these are sleeping t-shirts. What I'm gonna actually end up doing is putting all of my white shirts together because they are all different. Like this is a white bodysuit. I would like to hang this one. Three short sleeve white t-shirts. This isn't a t-shirt. It is a white short sleeve shirt, sure, but it's better quality. And this one's ugly and raggedy and we'll get rid of that. This is not my shirt, it's David's, so I will keep it. These are all wearable t-shirts like that you can do with jeans. These are all white shirts that we typically make into outfits. White tank to go under stuff. Black tank, this one's pretty bad quality too. We'll just get rid of it. Like an old bra I don't wear anymore, get rid of it. You know, that's what like I'm, I'm kind of trying to do. Even though there's nothing wrong with it, I can donate it to somebody else and they can get more use out of it, I don't wear it. So that way, my white shirts, undershirts, nicer quality stuff, the stuff I wear more frequently, this is gonna go in a more structured box that I can see. I fold it like that so that I can just pull it out. You know, like sometimes you have that super raggedy t-shirt, but you're like, I want to keep it because it's my raggedy one and I'll use it when I need something raggedy. That's how I feel about some of this stuff. But the truth is, is like, do you ever need something raggedy? Another set of pajamas. Okay, so now I'm realizing I have a little bit more sets of pajamas than I feel like I need. This is like a blouse. So this is also something I feel like I want hung. Like I want to see my blouses. But the issue is, is that I don't want to like stretch out the shoulders of it because it's not silky. But I think I might just do it. I might hang this one. This one I'm getting rid of. I, this is what I mean, like those like bra shirts that you bought when you were in high school that are just like tight little like t-shirts to wear jeans. Like I just don't want it. There's more behind here. Gray long sleeve tee that I never ever wear. Another white going in with the whites. Another white top going in with the whites. Look at all these t-shirts. Oh my goodness, holy guacamole. The thing is, is you can have enough. You don't need all of that. The crazier thing is, I've been getting rid of these t-shirts since high school. Like guaranteed, since high school, we've gotten rid of 10 t-shirts a year. Why do you accumulate so many t-shirts over your lifetime? I don't know, I don't understand. I don't want it though. I'm done, I'm done with all the clutter. Get rid of it, I just wore it, but I don't, I wore it because I knew I'd never wear it. I don't like it, don't like the way it fits, get rid of it. Seeing these bins on the floor, I think there's no way I need three bins worth of mostly shirts. There's just no way, there's no way, which makes me feel a lot better about getting rid of some of this stuff, even though some of it is stuff I still kind of wear. I really do not need it. And I can donate it, somebody else can get use out of it. Some of it's honestly trash and I would feel bad donating donating it and expecting somebody else to wear it because I just don't feel like it's I just don't feel like it can be somebody else's treasure so now we have bins broken up a little bit better undergarments shirts that are a little bit nicer pajamas and socks that are not as nice uh workout stuff so now I'm gonna just like find a way to put that all in here we had David's sweatshirts up here which I moved down here because what happens a lot of the times is we're putting laundry away and like that's a little harder to reach so we just kind of like throw it up there. Um, I thought having it down here would be a little bit easier. So long sleeve tees, sweatpants, uh, nice sweatshirts, casual sweatshirts. Undergarments, pajamas, socks, all that stuff is here. These are the leggings I wear every day um, or like every week and the t-shirts that I just didn't know what to do with. The nicer shirts, what I did was I moved I moved my hanging stuff. Now, I haven't gone here yet, so ignore for now. I'm Or there. <laughs> I haven't gone there yet. I moved my hanging stuff a little bit this way so that I could put the nicer shirts that I wish I could hang, but it can't. Um, I put them right here so that it's easy for me to see like when I'm actually looking for a shirt, whether it's a blouse that's hanging or a shirt that's folded, at least I can see exactly what I have. This is what I'm gonna tackle next, which is always my least favorite part. Let the sweater organizing begin. This sweater even, like I just wore this, but at the same time, I don't love the way it fits. And if I get rid of it, I can make room for a new one someday, right? This sweater I really like, but it's stained and it looks bad now. This sweater I love, but it looks so raggedy now. I've just worn it so much. I've worn it to the ground. I'm not ready to get rid of it yet. The shirt I actually don't love. I kind of hate it, so it's going. Okay, because it's not winter, this should stay like that for a good, until it's winter. Um, I got rid of quite a bit, but I don't know. I think 
you know, this is stuff I actually wear and I actually use throughout the winter, so I'm happy with the way it turned out. I didn't touch dresses today. I don't really plan on, on touching these for a while. Like I said, these are all relatively newer. I've gotten rid of a lot since I've moved from houses. Shirts are there, that's there. Jeans I haven't touched yet in terms of getting rid of, but I will do that later. Uh, just not ready for it yet. Honestly, just because it takes too much time. Move these hangers to the back. These are David's jeans. We'll leave these as is for now. Just slightly more aesthetic spacing. And then this side we've already seen looking pretty good. Shoes we just slightly reorganized. Only annoying thing is, is you do have to close this door to get on, onto this side, but it's fine. So I think the after is so much better. I mean, in terms of like packing, I feel like it's gonna be so much easier for me to see outfits and pick everything I need. Um, these right here, those are just like a couple dresses I'm afraid to hang because I don't want it to pull. And I think I'm going to take them with me to Greece anyway, so it'll be fine. All of this is nicely organized. Now I just have to keep it this way. No, I actually feel really good. I feel like I can start packing comfortably now. So I'm going to start trying on a little bit, a few outfits for Greece. David's not home. He's at his brother's house. He's going to be there for a while, so I feel like now is the best time. Maybe I can get this up before I leave and you guys can give me your opinions. We'll see. Okay, we'll start here. I got this dress from Shein. It's very low cut, which is why my hand is here, that I know will not be everybody's cup of tea, but I don't know. I mean, I am kind of curious to hear your opinions though. I mean, I think it's fun. I think it's different. I'll just do a little white tank under, um, but it's a little bit more poofy than I expected it to be when I bought it. And it feels very like flamingo dress. I don't hate it though. Like I still think if I want to have fun, like wear a fun dress, like why not? I am curious to hear your thoughts. I would think I'm gonna bring it with me either way. Don't know 100% sure if I'll actually wear it. This is a different vibe than the first. Um, I don't love the modesty tank underneath. I thought it was much cuter with the midriff showing. It's just a nice break, um, gives you a little bit of a waist. So I don't know, like when you try to make something like a little bit more modest, it really does take away from the outfit sometimes. It definitely is so wrinkled, it needs ironing. But um, yeah, I think without this, super cute. With this, don't love. I don't really feel like it does anything for me. This is from Amazon. It's a super cute outfit. I mean, besides the fact that it needs to be ironed, it's cute. It's just like this. It's cuter with a break. So if you are somebody who doesn't mind the midriff, then I would get it and wear it. And if you are somebody that wants to cover the midriff, I don't know, it might not be worth it. Actually, but when I step back and I look at the whole thing, I don't hate it, you know? It could be a fun vacation outfit. I, maybe I don't mind. Another thing I would like an opinion on. This skirt I got from Shein and I'm not even gonna pretend like I don't love it. Listen, Linda, I love it. I love, 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 love this skirt. My issue is it is far cuter with a tank, a crop tank. Same material as this one, like the thick kind, but it is far cuter with a crop tank. Am I going to wear a crop tank? I'm really gonna try hard not to. We have a long sleeve bodysuit, which I think is still cute, and I think I'll go to heaven. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I think you'll go to heaven even if you, listen, I think you will go to heaven. I don't think it's determined based off of what you wear. I am just trying to be a little bit more modest because why? I just feel like everybody in my life dresses modestly and um, why, if they can do it, why can't I? So that's why I'm trying. That's why I'm trying, I think. I don't know, maybe for me. So anyways, yeah, I love this outfit, I do. This one is definitely coming with me. Oh, imagine a little sandal, oh my God, I'm so excited. If you have any ideas for this skirt, any other ideas, oh, black, black for the night could work. Super nice, yes, okay, love that. Okay, I really like this skirt. Obviously not this shirt, I'm not into it. But I do really like this skirt. I'm realizing now that I don't actually have a good black shirt um, to do with skirts or really just like a good black shirt um, that doesn't have like accessories or frills to it. So I think that might be a buy that I'll try to get before I go. Um, and it's just a staple thing to have on hand all the time. This skirt I think would be really good with uh, either like a black bodysuit or maybe cream. I think it can make cream work during the day. Pleated, it's really thin. The material feels good and it's like casual. So I really like this one. I think lighter colors will be for the daytime, darker colors for the nighttime. And I just need a good black shirt. 
this dress I got in Atlanta when we went for Family Feud um, from Marine Lair. I've ne we do have one here. I've never been to it though. And I really love it. So this is coming with me. This is going to be my summer dress staple. I've already worn it twice. I just got it. It's just easy. It's black. It's a love of wrap dress. I think a wrap dress is the most flattering thing for like 98% of the people in the world. <laughs> and then a few other dresses are coming with me. I'm not going to try these all on. These are things that I've like worn. I have photos in. I have videos in. This is like the white pants and the white like button up shirt. This is coming with me. It's a great summer thing. It's super loose, super flowy. This I wore last year to my sister's graduation and then throughout the summer, all summer long. This is coming with me. It's just an easy one. This I bought at Madewell a year ago and I wore it like all summer last summer. I'm gonna wear it in Greece. I've worn it like four times already. It's only spring. Um, so this is coming with me too. This is from Madewell. I bought it at the same time as I bought that one last year. Um, I've worn this like a hundred times, wore it all throughout California, everything. The only thing it needs is a little white tank. Sometimes I just do one of my thin white sports bras and let that be my tank, but it's a good one. So that's coming with me too. These two things don't go together. Like I didn't buy them together, but they like, is this monochrome ugly? Do we hate this? Is this not cool? I don't know, but I do have an idea. I'm definitely bringing these pants. I'll just do it with a white shirt. This shirt though, this skirt, the only thing I don't like about this shirt is it's so thin that like, I feel like you can see, like, look, that's my like ab. You can see it. Not that I'm like super ripped and have like intense abs, but it's just like so tight. Like it's like, what is it called? Like muscle shirt kind of tight. And it's so thin. Like I have a mole on my stomach and you can see the mole through the shirt. That's the only thing I don't like about it. Otherwise I think this could work. I think this is cute. What do you guys think? I feel a lot better right now than I did before. Um, now that I've, I just have some things out and I feel like it's not as overwhelming as it was. So thank you because I wouldn't have felt that way if I didn't record a YouTube video and make myself do it. So thanks guys. Good morning. It's Monday. That means it's travel day. We go to Greece today. I woke up at like six and then I was just getting some work done and editing another video. And now we have the entire day to finish packing and getting ready because we don't leave till 10 p.m. tonight. So we're gonna enjoy that, have a slow morning, eat breakfast, work out, pack, and just take it easy. But it looks like I have to start with the laundry. David, you are challenged on laundry folding. For breakfast, do I want porridge or do I want eggs? We don't have to leave here until 7.30 and it's 2.44, so I haven't really done any packing besides where we left off in that last video. The only thing I did was buy a makeup bag and I bought a black shirt to go with those skirts. Um, I'm gonna record a TikTok right now while I pack my makeup. I'll start packing the rest of my bathroom stuff, the rest of my clothes. Um, I wanted to look it up. I'm not sure if like the places that we were staying in Greece will have things like shampoo and conditioner and toothpaste. So I think I'm gonna end up bringing my own shampoo and conditioner which is a little annoying because I don't really want to bring my own, um, but I am going to like shampoo, conditioner, body wash because I'm just not sure like what their hotels are like, if they're all traditional, they don't seem like traditional hotels. So I'm gonna, yeah, pack all that stuff too. The camera angle. All right, that took a little bit longer than I thought it would, but I think that's just what happens when I try to record two things at once. Show you guys what I did. All electronics and important stuff go into your main bag right? Because you just want to like hold that close to you. Okay. So that's everything like that. I got this little bag from Target today. This is for all of our full size liquids. So this needs to go into a checked bag, toothbrush, tweezers, lotion, tweezers, all that stuff, face wash, whatever. Should be getting my period while I'm there, which is great. So that's what this is. Oh, I should put ibuprofen in there too, actually. Here is all my makeup. These are like the bases of faces <laughs> and then i have kind of like the smaller tubes lining the sides and then uh, little cases up in front yeah contacts eye mask uh face lotion and this is hair stuff so just a hairbrush uh curling iron and flat iron just like anybody else packing was going really smoothly and then uh, it just ended up being a lot more than i was anticipating so i mean two weeks is a long time here's what we're doing so we're doing half and half um, in this suitcase, so we weren't going to bring this one. It's actually my mom's super lightweight and it's really, really deep. Um, it's obviously like not the cutest, but moms are smart. So they get really lightweight, really deep suitcases. Half of my stuff, 
half of David's stuff. And then this one, same thing, half of my stuff, half of David's stuff. At the last second, we just got worried about the possibility of something getting lost, um, a suitcase getting lost. So we split the suitcases down the middle, just in case, hopefully nothing gets lost. But just in case, I think that's a smart move. I definitely feel more at ease. It's already, gosh, five o'clock. But overall, I really like the way the packing came out. So doing like all the liquid stuff and then makeup in these packages was really nice. These are shoes. Um, I don't know how people pack hats, but we're just winging that one. Uh, bathroom stuff, just mostly clothes. I also did like undergarments. These are like underwear and bras. I did those in Ziploc bags and like sealed them tight. I don't have any vacuum sealed bags, but that's a really nice way to keep small things grouped together and packed really um, densely and concisely. So I really liked that. Um, and I'll do that again next time. In my purse, all the valuables. So laptop, um, camera will go in there, chargers, um, converters, uh, wallet, passports, IDs, another bag in a bag. This one's for traveling, hair clip. The only thing I'm a little bit worried about is I don't feel like I have enough like over things. I have this jean jacket and I have a blazer. That's just gonna have to do. I do think it's gonna be colder than we think. So I'm a little worried about that. There's just no room and I just don't want too much. So we're gonna wing it. You smush sun hats? How do people pack this? I have no idea. That doesn't seem right though. Listen, my least favorite color is the color red. I hate it. I really do. But for a suitcase that holds everything I needed to hold plus some, I'ma take it. I'm gonna take the red one. Well, I think we're mostly done for now. Thank you guys for packing with me and doing all of that with me. I honestly, you made it, I know it's so weird to say, but you made the process so much easier and more enjoyable. I got to talk things out out loud and I feel like I'm just in a very clear headspace. This is the lineup, so big suitcase. This one's gonna be weird to push around. I already know it, but it, again, is practical and does the job <laughs> first. Um, so that's my handbag, our carry-on, we're only taking one, David's handbag, and big suitcase that we're checking for both of us. We are ready to go. Okay, and that's it. Make sure to like and subscribe. Stick around. Grease vlogs are coming soon, which I'm so excited for. Oh my gosh, I'm just gonna like finish editing this one and start the next one. Okay, big dramatic. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, stick around, leave me a comment below if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns. If you want any links to any of the outfits that I put up in this video, it's hot in here, I'm sweating, I have to go. Okay, that's all, thanks, bye.